Welcome back to the video series Introduction to Processing. In this video, we'll talk about uh, keyboard input. Processing has made it very easy to receive uh, keyboard input. As before, we have setup and draw. Uh, we have also a reserve method called key press uh, that is called automatically every time a key is pressed. Uh, and the key variable uh, is also the variable that will store the last key that was pressed. And so as as we are drawing our animation, as we loop into this draw method, every time a key is pressed, the draw method uh, stops, jumps to the key press, and then process the whatever code that we want to process, and then jumps back and resume the animation uh, of the draw loop. And so the, the key variable, uh, KEY, this is the system variable that contains the value of the most recently pressed key on the keyboard. And this includes uh, all the keys in as part of the ASCII specification, including, for example, backspace, tab, enter, return, es escape, and delete. Um, as a note, uh, the enter key is usually used on PCs and Unix, and the return key is used on Macs. So if you are going to be listening for those for that key, then you want to be uh, listening for both. Now, key code is reserved for uh, non-ASCII keys. So for example, something that uh, we often use in games is that the, the arrow keys, which is up, down, left, right. And so key code is uh, used to listen to those keys. OK, let's, uh, do some, let's do an example. So here's a, a processing sketch we have set up. Let's make it, the size be 800 width, 600, 600 for the height. And then the background is going to be uh, a white background. OK, so suppose that I want to Let's uh, create, a, say, a, we're going to create two position, position X, position Y for a, a rectangle. And let's make rect mode be uh, center at, so the center, uh, this allows us to put the position of the rectangle at the center of the rectangle. You don't have to do that, but if you're comfortable with the default, which is uh, the position of the rectangle is at the top left, then that's fine too. But I'm going to just uh, do the center here. OK, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to just uh, draw a rectangle. Let's make it a red fill rectangle. And we're going to draw it at position X and position Y. And let's make it, say, 100 pixel by 30 pixel. So there's our rectangle. Now, suppose that I let's actually initialize the position. Let's just make it at, say, 100 and say this is the height minus 100. So let's put it at the bottom of the screen. OK, now suppose that I want to move this rectangle. So again, the, the method here is key press. Notice if I spell it correctly, it will be color coded. Uh, and so if I press a key, then as it's drawing the rectangle, it's going to jump down to key press and uh, execute these statements. So let's say that uh, let's. If key, remember key is the variable that remembers the, the last uh, key that was pressed. If key is equal to, say, uh, the letter A, the, then we're going to, let's move the X position, say, to the left by 10, 10 pixels. Uh, and else, if the key is equal to, say, D, this is very standard, we're going to move it. Um, right by 10 pixels. So let's try that. So again, we're going to have a rectangle that is positioned at, uh, at the bottom of the screen. We're going to draw it uh, with the red fill. And whenever we press the key, then this method is called, and we can change the position of the rectangle. So let's see what it looks like. So here it is. If I press the A, it's going to make it move left. If I press D, it's going to make it move right. So this allows me to control the position of this key of the rectangle. So for example, we can draw, we can do a breaker game or some kind of a uh, pawn game with this. Okay, let's look at key code. Now, if the key is coded, uh, if key code is equal to say uh, left, spelled with everything's capitalized. So this is if. Uh, the user press the left key, then again we're going to just move left. So this is the same thing as pressing 
uh, a on the uh, up above here for the key variable I want to do the same thing for uh, uh, move in so if key this is right and this is key code so again if I press A and D I move left or right accordingly if I press left one of the arrow keys then it'll also move left if I press right then it'll move right so let's run that so now again if I press A and D it works as before if I press left and right it also will work and so it's listening to any of those keys so that is it's pretty simple to process uh, key inputs okay again uh, processing website is a good resource and I'll see you in the next video